Okay, this is going to be uh, part two, wheel turning. Uh, we're going to do the first side, which is back side of the wheel. OD, that's the flange OD, the back face, and then the offset of the hub, which is 3 8 in my case. Some wheels don't have flat back wheels are all the way down. I would like to use the hub because that gives me more of a, a bearing for the, for the axle. In my case, it's going to be inch and an eighth. So it gives you a lot more bearing, a little more stability for the wheel, I think. Um, I'm going to do, I think, I'm going to do seven wheels without making a cut on the tape. One steady cut so you can see how long it actually takes me. Of course, this is the first side. It doesn't take that long. Um, I got a nice bucket full over here. So uh, here we go. Okay. We're going to start with the machining. This is the first side. I'm going to take a cut on the OD first. Go to my zero, which I already got marked. Zero on the readout. And just feed it in by, by hand. Put it, put it in manually. Charge wheel by hand. Now uh, you want to keep the, the brush on here because if you don't, the stuff flies all over the place. So keep the brush on there. Now that should be to my size, and I'll tell you that about that in a minute. Now we're going to go to zero on the face, on the X tension, lock the carriage, feed it in by hand first. It takes a full cut. Just feed it right in. Now I'm off center there. That's going to be a problem. And it seems to me I got some good ones, some bad ones. Uh, you got to take it easy with that. I don't care that much on the back, if you want to see it. But on the outside, on the other side, where you see. Uh, I don't like it, but that's the wheels I got. We're going to finish it out. Now my offset is 3 8 375. So I'm going to go back to over 400, come into it, up to it, 375, right there. Now I'm going to feed it by hand first, so I get a full cut. And I'll explain to you why that bad, so as I get a full cut. Yeah. If you allow that to bounce like that, the, the chip pressure and a cut is going to jump, 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 and it can dig in on it. It jumps ahead and then it digs in and then it uh, throws a piece out of the machine. Now I like to leave a little tip in the middle because if you go past center or you go up to center, you could chip the tip and it's not worth it. So when I drill it out, uh, it's going to relieve that. It's going to disappear when I drill it out from the other side. Break the edge, that one's done. Okay, take it out, put it in a bucket. Another one. Lock it in there. Now that one's running pretty good. Start all over again. No changing tool. Same tool over and over. Zero. Make sure my zero up there is good. Feed in. zero on the face, first zero, lock the carriage, get started, make sure it looks good, brush on there so it don't fly all over the place, a lot of times the bronze so that same thing flies all over, you use the brush to hold on there. Wheel. In the center, three eighths, three seventy five, right there. Wheel that takes a full cut. While it's doing there, you use this 
Papa e Ed. case. 